Hello dear student, so this is a video lecture number 4 for software engineering. So in this video lecture, we are going to learn about spiral model. So this spiral model is the one of the most important software development lifecycle model which provide support for risk handling. So this spiral model support the risk handling. All other models we have studied till now doesn't support the risk handling but this model known as the spiral model is capable of handling leaks in its diagrammatic representation it look like a spiral with many loop the exact numbers of loop of this spiral is unknown and can vary from project to project so in this diagrammatic representation the spiral model uh, this spiral model is divided into four quadrant quadrant number one quadrant number two quadrant number three and quadrant number four this model is called the spiral model because the progress and the cost are represented in the form of this type of spiral or loop so in this spiral model the first phase is known as the objective determination and identifying alternate solution so in this first phase or in this first quadrant we need to identify the objectives of the project and meter and need to determine the different alternative solution to identify to sorry to different alternative solutions to solve that problem so in the first quadrant we need to identify our objective and need to need to formulate the different solutions for solving that or to achieve that objective and in second phase in the second quadrant that is identifying and resolving the risks so in the second quadrant we need to perform the activities to identify our risks associated with that project if the, the there are the project may suffer from different types of risks for example if the customer requirement is not clear then we can use the prototype model to solve that risk so in second quadrant we need to we need to identify the different types of risks and need to solve them after second quadrant we move to third quadrant in this third quadrant we need to develop the next versions of product so after successfully resolving the risks then we need to develop the next versions of the product then we need to show that product to our customer and review that product whether this is whether it is working according to our plan according to our functional requirement or not then we need to discuss the different strategy if the project is well enough and and well enough and customer accept that project then we can end the product otherwise we need to repeat the iteration until the project has been successfully completed so this this number of loops or this iterations it's depend upon project to project so this radius so this radius of a spiral represent the cost of the project till now and this angular representation represent this angular this angle this 90 degree angles or this angle represent the progress of the project so this spiral model is known as the meta model which is capable of handling the leaks why it is called the meta model because all other models because this model spiral model use uses the all other models so this model is little complicated but suitable for the project that may have different types of rigs if the small project and the project having having less complexity then it's then it is better not to use this spiral model but the spiral model is suitable for those projects which have different which which has the different types of rigs associate on it so the spiral so in simple word spiral model is one of the most important software development lifecycle model which provide support for rigs handling in diagrammatic representation it look like a spiral with many loop the exact number of loops of a spiral is unknown and can vary from project to project each loop of this spiral is called the phase of software development process the radius of spiral and the point 
any point represent the expenses or cost of the project so far and the angular dimen dimension represents the progress made so far in this current phase so this is the diagrammatic representations and this in simple word this model divide the entire life cycle into one two three and four quadrant and each quadrant we need to perform different activities so this radius radius of a spiral is known as the cost how much cost and time or effort that we have currently 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 required to that project and this angular angular dimension represent the cause of sorry progress of each phases so this is all about the spiral model in our upcoming videos now we are going to start the next chapter that is requirement analysis and specification and what are the different activities then we need to carry it out during requirement analysis and specification and we are also going to learn how to record how to write the srs documents and how to identify the functional and non-functional requirements in our upcoming videos